Crazy Train Guy presents an Okanagan Valley Railway production. Another episode of How Did He Do That? Okay, this is the uh, third and final video of the operations. And um, so we're going to do a walkthrough with regards to uh, train uh, train 72, which will be heading uh, eastbound, as I mentioned uh, in the previous video. So eastbound mixed freight. Now this uh, entire freight is to be made up here in Penticton Yard. Uh, right now you're looking at the uh, Penticton uh, switching, switchers that are going to uh, make up the train. Um, as you can see, from had a number of trains arrive. Um, since uh, the last video I shot. So the yard, yeah, the yard is basically plugged. So a couple things I'll go over here before I get going. Um, so um, as we uh, went over last week uh, in the paperwork, there was this uh, switch list here. So we're going to, we're going to walk through that a little bit because we do need to get a couple cars down there at the bottom. But in the meantime, I'm going to be switching out a bunch of industries just uh, out of efficiency. Uh, they're all located in the same area. So those uh, two cars I'm going to be grabbing. Um, they happen to be, uh, where are they now? They are over there. So there's the, there's the two um, piggybacks there, or trailer on flat car. There's a Great Northern and a CP flat car. So I got to pick those up and switch them. I'll switch in uh, the ones that came in on uh, train 71, actually. They're here in the yard. Um, and then this is basically it here. So this is the train we're going to be making up right now. So there's a combination of cars that are that are in the yard that I've got to look for, and I've got all the car cards already. I've already got them right here on train 72 uh, uh, hook. All right, so we're gonna basically work through this and uh, and make the train up. And I'll uh, so you can watch uh, watch the switchers in action here and and enjoy. Like this is probably the three videos is by far the most action packed. The other two were. You know, mostly just uh, me describing how the whole thing works. So this now we actually get to see it in action. Here we go. So the first order of the day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start organizing uh, the cars that are in the yard onto where train 72 should go. So according to this, it should go on train 6, or track 6. The problem is, is that train 90, uh, 93, when it came rolling in, I had to put it in track 6. So it's right now plugging track 6. That's a problem. The good news is, is that I have a string of cars. Uh, you can see the Great Northern cement hoppers at the front of that. Those car, that block of cars is in track four, and that is actually actually for train 72. So all I have to do really is I just need to uh, switch those out. So that's how I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reorganize that a little bit and then uh, uh, get going from there.
So what I've done there is I've uh, repositioned the uh, van or caboose uh, for uh, train 94, which will be uh, returning the returning train back to Soyuz. So it's on track four now. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to push these cars, even though for train 72, I'm going to hook them on to what came in as train 93. And I'm going to put it in the track four right now, even though a lot of those cars are going to go out on other trains, just to uh, sort the yard and get them out of track six. Um, so I'm going to be using the full length of the switch lead, which goes way around the bend there. And I'm actually going to follow the main line. So normally what would happen is the air master would have to contact the dispatcher to uh, ensure he has clearance to, uh, and also instruct the, um, or advise the, the dispatcher that he's going to be fouling the main and that the uh, no, no trains can come up from Osoyoz at that point. So here we go. So as you can see, it's quite a cut of cars. Okay, so now I've uh, got train 93 back in its proper track. Um, and now I've got this string of cars that I started with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sorting. The one thing I need to keep in mind is it's, uh, you know, I always uh, try to put the heavier cars in front uh, due to the grade and that on, uh, on my layout. So the uh, tank car especially will be near the end of the train. So I'm going to resort those out and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now I've moved, uh, as you can see, the tank car is now at the end of the current string of cars that are blocked for train 72. I may have to do some more shuffling later, but uh, that'll do for now. So what I've done uh, so far with the grease pencil, I've marked off the, uh, the six cars that I have uh, put in the, that track. And uh, now there's some more cars I need to look for in the yard. So the other ones that were on the peg are these... Uh, oops. So there's two of these bulkhead flats, which um, are actually currently, they are sitting right here with uh, lumber loads. So those are going to get uh, put on the end of the train. And then I'm also looking for uh, Canadian Pacific uh, Reefer, which I believe came in on, uh, oh, there it is on train 70 or 93. So if I would have had a little more foresight, I wouldn't have put it at the end of the train. So I have to switch that out. So. And then I've got two wood chip cars here, a CN and a QOPX car. Those cars uh, came in on actually in a CN train earlier. Let's see if we can find them here. And there they are. I can just see them over. They are empty. Currently they are, uh, and they're heading up to be reloaded. So we'll have to grab those as well. Those, I don't want to put them at the end of the train because they're fairly heavy cars. But at the same time, I want to put them... Someplace it's easy for them to be dropped off by a 72. Okay, so I grabbed the reefer. And uh, so I'm just going to put it on the end of uh, train 72 for now. As you can see, I've removed the uh, tank car and that uh, small covered hopper for now. And I've actually put them over on a different track for now. Because I realize now that I'm going to be doing a lot of shuffling. And so otherwise I'm going to be pulling them off the, the train a few more times. So I might as well leave them until near the end when I'm almost ready to make the train up. So next step is I'm going to go find now the uh, those two um, wood chip hoppers, which are just over in the neighboring tracks. So I'm going to grab those and I'm going to put them on the train. All right, so I grabbed those two uh, wood chip cars. I've got a couple other cars off of uh, that same sea and freight, but I'm going to put them back in the yard. It's just easier to move, move, make uh, fewer moves that way. You just um, always try and minimize your switching moves. Okay, so next I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the... Um, those two bulkhead flats way down there that I uh, mentioned earlier. They're uh, kind of tucked in a the track there, so it's going to be a little tricky, but I should be able to grab them. All right, I've grabbed those two cars. 
Once again, I've had to pull another string of cars with them, but I'm going to put them back as I'm done. So there we go. We've coupled them on. We've almost got our train made up. Okay, so I've been marking off the cars I've been picking up. So I marked off the uh, two wood chip cars here. And I marked off the reefer, which is here. So we just picked up... There we hear these two here, the two bulkhead flats. So all we got left to get is the two uh, piggyback cars. So next up is the uh, switching of the industries. Okay, so what I've done now is I've organized the cars that are going to be going into the industries in that string there. The uh, propane car and the flat car I'll worry about later. That's uh, some in different industries and a different train. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the switching crew and then we're going to switch the uh, industries all along in the back area there. So that would includes the uh, Penticton uh, uh, ramp, uh, the Elmer uh, Canning uh, factory, and as well as the, uh, the Penticton uh, Lumber Company over there. All right, so we're going to pick up those, uh, pick up the cars from the industries as I noted. First I get a basically travel the uh, the yard to get uh, onto the industrial tracks. First, we'll start with uh, picking up from the Penticton Lumber Company. So we got five cars over there to pick up. So now I've picked up all five of the lumber cars. Three are uh, empty loads of inbound logs, and two are outbound loads of lumber. Now we're going to go into the Elmer Canning Plant, grab that box car. I'm going to just grab the uh, two piggyback cars. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove all these loads I picked up from all the industry onto the main line temporarily so I can run around the train.
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab all the cars that have to go into the industries. And then I'll have plenty of room on the uh, in the yard to uh, grab all those cars that, that I picked up and uh, sort them. Alright, so we're heading back down the uh, industrial spur. So first we're going to put those uh, two empty cars, which are being brought in to pick up the lumber loads. So lumber cars are put in. We'll drop in the log loads. The track one, just like the air tracks. If a uh, industry has more than one siding, I, I number them as well for placement. We we'll drop another box car into the uh, Elmer Canning plant. Lastly, we'll spot these two uh, piggyback flat cars into the uh, intermodal or piggyback ramp. Now one thing I have to be sure to do is I didn't show is I did grab the uh, cards off of each industry hanger. So I'll put those on there and I'll hang up for the canning plant and then there's the five car cards there. That we dropped off at the uh, Penticton number. So once again I've run the length of the yard and we are coming back on the main to grab those cars I picked up from the industries. So in this case, as I mentioned uh, prior, when you're not using the main line like this and you're the authentic from the uh, yard crew, you've got to get permission from the dispatcher if you're following the main line. Let's take a uh, moment to look at the cards we picked up. So as we mentioned, these two are, we're just going to double check. Uh, okay, so it's train 72, train 72, train 72. This one's going on CP81 to Princeton, so that's probably one of the last trains of the day. Uh, this one's going CN565 to Kelowna. 81 to Princeton again. 81 to Princeton. This one's just going into uh, the Penticton Yard, so we'll put that into the other uh, or industry track. The other, because basically what's going to happen with these two cars is on the next session they'll probably end up on train 72. All right, so I've gone through the cards. So this first uh, Rock Island car you see, 707, is going on that CN565. So we're going to push that into the string of cars that are right now blocked for that train. Yeah, the next block of cars, so we've got four of the bulkhead flats and that box car. They're a mixture of stuff that's either going to be left in the yard for next session or it's going to go on train CP81. So we're going to 
put those in here for now for safekeeping and I'll have to work those later on. And now we're going to put the two uh, piggyback cars onto the train. And lastly, I'm going to put the van on the end of the train. Mark out the fact I pick up those two uh, trailer and fly car or piggyback cars. So our train is made up. Now, all I gotta do is I'm also gonna make up two other trains that are heading out shortly after uh, train 72. And then um, when I've got that done, I'll uh, get 72 ready and then uh, we'll roll out. All right, so now I've got uh, those other two trains are made up. And so I'm gonna take the car cards that are sitting here for train 72. And I'm going to put them into a train order pack for the uh, train crew for outgoing train 72. So now we've got the car cars and everything all set here. We will have to call up the crew, which will actually will be me. So, but in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to hostel the uh, engines for train 72 out. Okay, so uh, dispatcher's given uh, given us clearance to take train 72 out onto the main line. We first got clearance, of course, from the yard master to leave the yard, and I was clearance from the dispatcher to go front, follow the main line all the way up to uh, the summit at McCullough, where we have to take the siding, and then we got to wait for train uh, 73. Uh, uh, well, we take the siding, wait for train 73 to go past us there. And I'll wait for further instructions. So here we go. So we've left Penticton and now we're starting to climb up through uh, Glen Fir and then, then we'll be heading into Myra Canyon. This is the first sighting but we've been uh, given clearance to uh, continue on the main line past Glen Fir.
bit of a visual here. So as you can see, that's the uh, lower part of the train, stuck around Glen Fir. So we are climbing uh, quite a grade here. Here we're taking the siding. Let's hope that the train seventy three isn't too good. Getting near the end of the train here, and once the uh, van clears the uh, switch, uh, throw the switch back to the main so that 73 is clear to come through. And there we are. Okay, so we get the front so now we can proceed. Mm -hmm. 
Well, train 73 continues on its way. Now it's going to go down through the canyon. So now we've gone through the Myra Canyon. Now we're coming into uh, Beaverdale in the Midway. Just on the left here is the coal mine. We're taking the siding because we're dropping off as for the instructions on the uh, our train order sheet. We're supposed to drop off the two wood chip cars here, which I'll show you in a sec. We also had to get clearance from uh, Midway Yard for this because we are taking the siding. The siding uh, at Midway is considered part of the yard. Okay, I've uncoupled the uh, train from the uh, wood chip cars. So we're going to pull ahead. So as I noted on here, I think earlier when we are looking at the paperwork, um, and I believe part two, um, there it is right there. We have to set out these two wood chip cars that we picked up from Penticton. So here's the two cards. We're going to leave the cards here. And the yard guy's going to end up hanging them up on. He's going to uh, put them in the Pope and Talbot, actually. So let's bring the switcher out here. So we grab the two wood chip cars. Just put the switcher back by a little, uh, little office over there, and he's done for the day. Just need to back up our other train here. We've just got a couple of vans on the rest of the train.
once we have a uh, good to go, we'll uh, head to Nelson. So that's it, train uh, 72 is uh, heading through the tunnel, out of the room, and into Nelson staging. That's it for part three of this series, how, to operate, how I operate a train on the Okanagan Valley Railway. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and wish to see more content on model trains and real trains, please subscribe to my channel.